Hope you're well and welcome to this commission showcase video. We have an awesome chaos force for you guys to have a look at today. So loads of Black Legion. Uh, if you're new to Siege Studios YouTube channel, then Siege Studios is a UK based premium commission miniature painting service. We have four levels starting at bronze, which is uh, our above tabletop entry level here at Siege, going all the way up to platinum, which is our competition entry quality. Uh, and there's 28 members of staff that work at Siege painting models through all of those levels. If you are interested in a commission with us, then all you need to do very simply is head to the description of this video, where you can find a link to our contact form on the Siege Studios contact uh, page on the website. Once you're there, select all the drop-down options that are relevant for your project from those available, and in the message section, include a list of models in our model list format, which is also explained on there. Fire that off to us to get the process started and get a quote back from us. We're back in a second to have a look at this awesome Black Legion Chaos Space Marine Force. See you guys back in a sec. So first up in this awesome Black Legion force that we've had the pleasure of working on, we have the two Greater Possessed. Really cool models, obviously came with the uh, Shadow Spear box. Absolutely fell in love with them when I saw them and uh, the details on them are phenomenal. Really, really cool sculpts and very dynamic in their posing. Uh, Fletcher is the artist here at Seeds that has worked on the whole project and we'll pull forward the first of the Greater Possessed. Again, really cool model, that lovely sort of open rib cage there as you can see on the armor, the sort of the uh, sort of the warping of the flesh and, and armor as well is really cool. Uh, love this tonal variation on the claw as well, which is really nice. And you've got all the extra little bits and bobs of detail like the feet bursting through the armored foot, all the little horns and things. Uh, um, but no expense has been spared. All the little power cables and everything have been fully painted and multiple highlighted throughout on all the areas of detail work. And you'll see that across the force and across all of the models in this uh, army commission. And it's all painted to our bronze level, which is our above tabletop standard, our entry level here at Siege. This is what you'd expect to get us as a minimum level. Um, really, really clean finish as well. Lovely, lovely standard uh, with lots and lots of intricate little details fully painted. Again, all the little eyes and things all done there, as you can see, the bone work with nice contrast on it and all the rib cage and everything fully painted as well, which is really lovely. So that's just the first of the two Greater Possessed, and we'll pull forward the second. Again, really cool. I do love the mouth in the hand. It's a really nice little touch, uh, and uh, just so that he uh, gives to give you, goes to give you a handshake and uh, chews your face off at the same time, uh, which is really cool. Uh, so that's just him. Again, moving around, you can see the same consistency and attention to detail on the model. Every little detail picked out and highlighted. Uh, every aspect of sort of the uh, highlighting work has been completed on the bone work, the armor, the flesh, the cloth, uh, and everything everything. So that's just the second of these awesome Great Possessed. Do hope you like them. Uh, coming up next, we have all the 10 Cow Space Marines plus two Obliterators and also the Demon Engine. So stick around. They're coming up in the next couple of sections of the video. See you guys back in a sec. So up next, we have all of the Chaos Space Marine infantry from this force. And there are 10 Chaos Space Marines that you can see in front of you. The squad on the left have all the guns and the squad on the right obviously have all the close combat weapons. Uh, maybe they favor corn a little bit more. Um, we'll start by looking at these. Really, really cool. Then the new uh, Chaos Space Marines that came from the uh, Shadow Spear box. Uh, really, really cool dynamic poses. This guy's bounding forward there, about to lop someone in half with his chainsaw. Again, really, really cool. Fletcher's done a stellar job on all the edging on this model, all the gold work, all the sort of contrast added to the cloth. Uh, every edge has been fully highlighted as you can see there every detail picked out as well and these are great examples of our bronze level here at siege which is our sort of above tabletop standard uh, so that's just one of the black legion marines we'll pull forward a few more so you can have a look at these guys in a bit more detail really really cool models uh, lovely lovely obsidian black armor on these guys as well which is really really nice again they've all got the transfers there for black legion as well lovely uh, tones on the gold as well just to show that sort of antique baroque gold and bronze armor that they've got there on the filigree parts which is really nice um, just I will pull forward all of them just so you can see them all in their glory because there's only 10 of them and uh, they are a little bit all different just because of the uh, the sculpt from the Shadow Spear box which is really nice this guy's already dispatched someone behind him and now he's looking for his next target which is really really cool but you can see all the edging and everything done uh, and the consistency from model to model as we move them around you can see there's no expense spared no area missed um, all fully painted. Uh, again, last guy from the close combat corn favoring side. Uh, again, do like this guy here. He's uh, he shot his bolt gun and now he's looking someone to uh, impale with a knife. Uh, but just moving around, you can see all the areas of detail on him as well. The eyes and everything all picked out there on the pads uh, and all the lenses and everything all with point of light source as well and a couple of colors blended in there just to really give those lenses the life that you expect from us here at Siege. And then we'll have a look at the shooty side. So this is just the dude with the plasma gun here, as you can see. Really lovely uh, sort of purplish tones on the skin on his bare head as well, which is really nice. But all the eyes and everything picked out on him. And then move him around, you can see every aspect of detail fully painted and fully highlighted. Uh, so that's uh, that's just him. Lovely little glow there on the plasma gun as well. 
And then we'll pull forward the champion from the unit here. As you can see, he's got the same sort of orange glow on his plasma, uh, but every aspect of detail fully painted and fully edged and highlighted, which is lovely. All the bone work there with a nice amount of contrast on it as well. Uh, and again, all the transfers done on these as well. And I love the uh, subtle uh, sort of tonal variation on that top knot there, going from that orange to the red as well, which is really, really nice. So that's just the champion from the unit. Uh, pull forward the two bolted dudes from the back. So this is just the other dude here. Really, really cool model. He's just stoically moving forward there. He's dispatched someone undoubtedly for the Dark Gods. And then we'll pull forward the last bolt of dudes looking for a new target, which is really cool. I do love all these extra little details and things. And I like these little star in the sort of the, um, things that they've got. If you look back at the old sort of uh, Black, uh, Black Reach, I believe it was, the cultists had those on as well. So it's nice that they've kept those little effigies on the models. And then we have the auto cannon dude uh, who will gladly get rid of anything at long distance or close, most certainly. So this is just him. Again, every aspect of detail, little dials and buttons and everything there you can see on the backpack fully painted. And again, this is a really good example of our bronze level here at Siege for our entry above tabletop painting. Uh, and that's just the uh, infantry from the army, guys. I do hope you like it. Next up, we're going to have a Look at the two awesome, awesome obliterators and a demon engine. We're back in a second to have a look at that. See you guys back in a sec. So next up, we have the two obliterators and the awesome awesome demon engine for you guys to look at. We'll start by looking at the obliterators. We'll leave the demon engine till last just because he's really cool. Uh, and also, as you can see, Flesh has done a stellar job on all of these, just like on the infantry and also on the greater possessed. Uh, I love the uh, skin tones on here as well. It's really stretched and sore and pitted, which is uh, what you'd expect to see on a sort of a, a sort of model or creature like this obliterator. Uh, again, all the intricate little aspects of detail fully painted. You've got the lovely tonal variation on that gold brass filigree of the armor, which is really nice and trim. Uh, all the sewer parts with highlighting done on them as well but really really cool model lovely little plasma glow there matching the rest of the plasmas in the force as well which is just uh, lovely so that's just the first one and then we'll look at the second one as well again a really cool model uh, again you've got the chevron power uh, sort of, so power cable fuel cable there on the flamer uh, and then moving around all the lovely tonal variation on that skin i love this little uh, sort of wibbly arm here just sort of wrapping its way around that sort of rod as well which is quite cool uh, again they've got the eyes and everything painted they've all got transfers as you can see and every edge and every detail fully painted to a lovely finish. Again, for our bronze sort of above tabletop entry level here at Siege. Uh, so that's just the Obliterator. Then let's have a look at this monster, uh, the lovely Demon Engine. Again, really cool model. When I first saw it, I absolutely loved it, especially going to get some of these for my Iron Warriors eventually. Uh, but these are really, really cool, as you can see here, in this lovely Black Legion colorway. I'll just get that to focus so you can see all the little details and everything that have been fully painted on the model. Again, all the little sort of uh, extra little bits of detail you'd expect to see all painted the lenses the lights the eyes the tongues all the pipes everything and a lovely orange glow there on the inside of the uh of the beastie as well which is really really cool so that's just the uh demon engine guys i do hope you like it ever so much and uh, we're back in a second to have a look at the force in all its glory once again and you can find out a bit more on how to take a commission out with us here at siege see you guys back in a second So thanks for checking the video out, guys. Really appreciate it ever so much. I do hope that you have liked this Black Legion Cow Space Marine Force. I know that Fletcher had a great time painting it. If you are interested in something similar to this or another army or a character or something similar to this, as I said, then all you need to do very simply is head to our contact form, which is linked in the description of this video. That link will take you directly to it, whereby once you're there, select the drop-down options from those available that are relevant for your project uh, or models. And then also in the message section of that contact form, please do put a list of models in in our model list format, which is shown on there, uh, to fire that off to us to get the process started and get a quote back from us. Uh, again, thank you so much for watching the video. All the links to our social media can be found also in the description of this video, so please respectively go give us a like and follow on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And finally, while you're here on YouTube, if you are new, do first of all give the video a thumbs up because we really appreciate it. Secondly, if you hit the bell icon and subscribe to us, you will get notified of all the new updates that come on here, all the new videos and bits and bobs that we do. So I do hope you can check that out and also join us for future videos. See you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. I want to make sure that you guys have an accessible way to get hold of skills and new techniques and develop yourselves as painters. And that's it really, guys. So thank you very much and we hope you'll, uh, you'll join us on Patreon.